Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm back with a tag and I feel like it's been a, a long time since I did a tag but also I thought I'd already done this tag but going back and looking through my uploads I can't seem to find it. So I've either done it in the past and then just taken it down at some point or I've never done it and just thought I did. Either way, I saw Joey Paul do this tag a couple days ago, I will link that down below. It might be more than a couple days when this video actually goes up, but right now it was a couple days ago. And she said that anyone who wants to do it could consider themselves tagged, and I am considering myself tagged. So I have the questions pulled up on my phone over here, and I'm just gonna run through it. And I figured this could be a short, brief, quick to film video that I can get up for you guys, but we'll see if I actually end up talking for way too long because I do that sometimes. Anyway, there are 20 questions to this tag. I will leave them down below in the description. Joey did change one of the questions from the original tag and I'm going by the one that Joey changed it into. And I will leave those down below in the description. Also consider yourself tagged if you want to do this video and you haven't. And without further ado, let's go. Question one is, would you rather have a male main character or a female main character? I have written mostly female main characters, but I have written male main characters a couple times. I have a work in progress that I'm not really working on, but that has a male main character. Since I've written female main character more times, I'm gonna say that, but I don't really know if I have a preference. Question two. Would you rather wake up before dawn every day to write or stay up until the early morning hours to write? That depends on what else is going on in my life. I already get up fairly early for work and I think I would rather get up a little bit earlier than that to get the words written, go to work, come home and be done. But I do kind of like writing in the evening and that is what I do more often. I'm gonna say morning because if I have to stay up to the like the early hours of the morning my work day will be horrible. So get up before dawn because not that much earlier than I get up now anyway. Question number three. Would you rather write a book that is torturous to write but which is very popular or a book that is fun to write but which is only known by a small audience? This is so easy for me. I would rather write a book that I enjoy even if it doesn't have as big of a reach because if I don't enjoy writing it, I will not write it. And if I don't enjoy writing it, I also imagine I won't enjoy, you know, editing it and trying to get it published and that whole thing. So I would much rather write a book that I enjoy, even if not as many people find it. I also think that that would make for a more enjoyable book, but that's just me. Question four. Would you rather write a sci-fi story or a fantasy story? Now I mostly... No, I don't. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm mostly stick in the contemporary genre, and I guess most of the things I write are in the contemporary genre, but I have written dystopias, I have written sci-fi, ish and I'm currently working on a fantasy. I'm taking too long to answer these questions aren't I? But this to me depends on how heavy into the genre I have to get. Like do I have to write a high fantasy? Think Lord of the Rings because that's my first, the first leap my mind makes when I think um, like heavy, heavy duty fantasy is Lord of the Rings or heavy duty sci-fi which would be like writing Star Wars because I haven't really done either of those things. I have sort of dabbled into, I don't know if I can say contemporary sci-fi, but more like lighter sci-fi, mostly our world, but with some scientific improvements kind of thing, not space travel. I did try, it did not go well. And for fantasy, the story I'm currently working on, the dual rule project that Mark and I are writing together is fantasy and is set in a secondary world and it's, proper fantasy but it is not like these great big battles and Lord of the Rings basically. <laughs> I, I'm i gonna say fantasy because I do like my courts and kingdoms and monarchy and pretty crowns and big poofy dresses. I'm gonna say fantasy <laughs> even though that's very much not what our story is. Question number five, would you rather use first person or third person? First person, easy answer. I use that most often, I'm the most comfortable with that, so first person. Quickest answer so far. Question number six, would you rather meet any character of any book or short story in real life for one day 
or personally know any author you wish. Uh, okay, so first of all, I already know some authors. Marcus is one, for example. I like that we get to spend time together and there are plenty of people here on AuthorTube who I would, who I would like to meet and, and get to know in person. But I have also found that a lot of times authors end up being, not saying author tubers, but authors end up being quite disappointing in that you have this this book that you've read or books, series, whatever that you've read by this author and you really like them and then the author turns out to be problematic or um, a not great person. And it's kind of the whole don't meet your heroes thing on the opposite side of that, I currently cannot think of a single character in any books that I have read that I, like, am that keen on meeting. I don't know, I just had a look around my shelves of the books I've read, and I'm also in this weird funk right now where I feel like I have never liked a single book I've ever read, so there's that. But I'm like, I want to meet someone I think I would be able to befriend in that case. I know it's just for a day according to the question, but like, I would still want to have a good time. And right now I can't really think of anyone where I'm like, oh yes, we would hit it off great, you know? Maybe you don't want to hit it off great if you just have one day to hang out either. I'm gonna say author and I'm gonna say someone on AuthorTube. I'm gonna say Bug. I really want to meet Bug. <laughs> Question seven. Would you rather only be able to write your book in scenes from end to beginning or only be able to write it in scenes that jump around in the timeline randomly? The second one. Obviously. For me, obviously, the second one, because that's how I write most of the time. I never write from beginning all the way through to the end. I've never tried writing from end all the way to beginning, but I do jump around and it works well and I enjoy it. So doing that one. Question eight. Would you rather only be able to write dialogue if you act out the voices out loud or only be able to write action if you act it out in real life? I'm gonna take a root with this. I'm gonna say that if I had to act out the action scenes, either I would have to gain a lot more abilities than I, than I have, or they would be really, really disappointing action scenes because I can't like fight and wield swords and you know, those things. That sounds like I write a lot of fantasy. I don't. If I have to act out the action in like contemporary stories that I write, would I just be like making out with the air? Would I have to skateboard? I don't have the skills for that one either. So, hmm. Acting out the dialogue or like saying the dialogue out loud, I think would be better. I mean, I mostly, especially now in the pandemic, I am mostly writing at home. So it wouldn't be that big of a deal if I had to say the things out loud, even if they were clunky and awkward or embarrassing or whatever. So I think I'm gonna go with that one, go with the, the dialogue one. However, when I'm writing with people, like when Mark and I sprint or when we're out of this panini and I can go see people and do write-ins and stuff in person, it would be really annoying for them if I sat there and, you know, talked my, my dialogue from the story out. But I think it might be more annoying if I started like punching around me. So the talking thing. Also, I like talking, can you tell? Question number nine. Would you rather publish with the most successful publishing house in your genre, but have to wait two years to see your book in print, or self-publish with no expense or marketing assistance, but see your book in print within three months? I would like to get traditionally published, so I'm gonna go with that one, even though it would take time to see the book. I haven't explored the option of self-publishing. I am nowhere near self-publishing or trying to, to traditionally publish anything but I'm gonna go with traditional publishing because that's what I'm most interested in doing. Question number 10. Would you rather write a goofy story or write a serious story? I think there's a good balance to be had. I think there needs to be humor in serious stories and I think there needs to be some seriousness even in funny lighthearted stories, but I don't think I have it in me to write a super serious story. I don't think I could ever write a I don't know, a thriller or a mystery, uh, uh, that kind of dark, gloomy kind of thing. Um, and I want to say that my most of my stories are more on the lighthearted, if not goofy end of the spectrum, so I'm gonna go with that one, the goofy one. 
Question 11. Would you rather have an authorial voice that always sounds like the narrator from planet Earth or have an authorial voice that always sounds like Captain Kirk? I've never seen any of Star Trek. I don't know what Captain Kirk sounds like. And I've seen like this much planet Earth and I barely remember it. I'm gonna go with that one since I've at least heard it. Question 12. Would you rather write a story knowing that you will have to kill off the main character eventually or write a story knowing that everyone the main character is close to will you will eventually have to kill off? I don't know, I'm, I'm intrigued by both because I think ending a story with the main character dying could be really interesting to do but killing off everyone around the main character might be more impactful, might be worse <laughs> and I do like making life miserable for my characters sometimes and I think that that would be horrible. So I'm gonna go with killing off everyone around the main character. Question 13. Would you rather leave your ending somewhat open and bittersweet or leave your ending on a cliffhanger? If it's the first book in a series or a duology or something, I would do cliffhanger. But as a whole, as like the end of a series or the end of a standalone, I don't mind open endings so long as some things are solved. I did read a book recently where like everything was left open-ended and I really didn't like it. So I'm gonna say the open-ended ending. Question 14. Would you rather have your cover art designed by Tim Burton or have your cover designed by Stan Lee? I am not overly familiar with Tim Burton's covers. I've never been a massive Tim Burton uh, fan. I've never seen a lot or read a lot or been exposed to a lot of Tim Burton. Uh, but I'm, I think I'm gonna say Stan Lee. Question 15. Would you rather write in many different genres or write only in one genre? I'm gonna go with many different genres. I am not sure that I, down the line when I have something to show for it, will try to get published in multiple genres or if I'll try to get published in just the one but I want to be allowed to write whatever I want and if that ends up being a sci-fi story even though I've mostly only written contemporary I want to be able to do that so multiple genres. Question 16 and this is the one that Joey has changed the wording of and it says would you rather write physical disability or mental illness and I know that Joey skipped over answering this question based on how it was phrased earlier and I don't really know for myself I think the most most important thing is to get sensitivity readers in that case who are familiar with that mental illness or that physical disability but also maybe it's not my place to write and then my question becomes how like what is in this regarded as a physical disability and what is regarded as a mental illness is wearing glasses or having poor eyesight and needing contact lenses or glasses is that a physical disability or are we talking something different than that because I, I've worn glasses since I was three. That I could write. I've had many characters with glasses but that doesn't necessarily mean that I am well equipped or the right person to write a story about someone who is um, blind for example just because I have glasses or um, something completely different, someone who is an amputee, you know? That's not necessarily my story to write or my character to write about. So I'm gonna give a very vague non-answer to this question and uh, move on. Question 17. Would you rather have an orphan main character with good friends or a main character with a good-sized family and family problems? If you've been here for a while, I don't think there's a secret that I really like the found family trope. I do also think that sometimes there are very many characters, at least in YA, who end up being orphans or having no family around where maybe that's not necessary but I'm gonna go with the orphan with good friends because of the fun family trope. Question 18. Would you rather write the sex scene or not write the sex scene? I'm trying to think back to see if I've actually ever written a whole a whole sex scene. I think I've mostly like faded to black but I did write uh, one of the stories I mentioned a little earlier on that, has, that I'm working on that has a male main character. I wrote a masturbation scene which I guess is sort of uh, a sex scene. I'm gonna say write the sex scene, but not necessarily keep the sex scene. <laughs> but I think it might be good to write it to see what, ha I was gonna say what goes down. <laughs> see who goes down perhaps. 
<laughs> I'm gonna say write the sex scene but not necessarily leave it in but I do think it could be interesting for the rest of the story even if the reader never gets to see the sex or read the sex to um, know what happened how that went down was it funny sex was it sensual sex was it quickly over and done with and so on I think that might play a role in how the characters move forward. Question 19 is would you rather write about uncertain dangers and intrigue or write about direct confrontation and violence? I would rather write intrigue and this is partly because I don't think I write like fight scenes very well and I'm still bringing this back to fantasy even though that's not my primary main genre but I think intrigue and what, what was the word? Uh, uncertain dangers is more suspenseful and more page turnery in a way, that's a word by the way, than the confrontation and the violence. Perhaps also because I don't like confrontations <laughs> in general. And last but not least, question 20. Would you rather have to answer any question put to you by your fans or have no fans asking you questions? Now when we say any question. Do we mean any question or do we mean any question related to the story and the characters and the world? Because if it is that, I would rather answer that and, you know, show people that I don't always know the answers to all those things, even though I've written the story. But if it's like all questions, any question, um, that could get very personal and I, I don't mind talking about myself, but there are some things that I would probably not want to have to answer. The opposite of having no fans who ask questions. I don't really see a downfall with that. It didn't say I wouldn't have any readers. It didn't say I wouldn't have any fans. It just said that they wouldn't ask me questions. To stay on the safe side and not have to answer personal in-depth questions about me that I don't want to answer, I'm going to go with have no questions asked to me by fans. But there you have it! Those were the 20 questions of the author would you rather or the would you rather author tag. Whatever the name was it will be in the description or in the title of the video. I had a lot of fun. This was a good fun tag and I think I answered the questions kind of quickly but I'll let you be the judge of that because I have a tendency to just keep going like I'm doing now and there's like no end in sight. So I'm just gonna tell you to have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video soon so I'll see you then. Bye!